What is up, YouTube? Carly here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, tech, and life. And for this episode, I'm excited to share with you guys the sneakers that dropped from Adidas. Because they dropped a lot, literally, yesterday. And I want to go over each one. The new NMDs, the new Young 96s, uh, the new EQTs. I mean, there are a lot of drops. And then we'll probably segue into the new New Balance X90s, which dropped over at Commonwealth. So let's go! If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. Why? Because we are giving away champion caps sponsored by Shoe Freak PH as well as an off-white Rastaclat bracelet. Subscribe now, follow me on Instagram, watch until the very end of this video, and hit the link down below for the rest of the mechanics. Let's get started. I dropped by Adidas over at BGC Uptown Mall because Adidas Originals had like a lot of new drops that I wanted to check out and share with you guys on this channel. Why? Because yesterday or the day before this one, I did the video on my top 10 or top 11 picks from the newly opened Nike store over at uh, Uptown, Uptown, at VGC. So this is kind of a follow-up from the swoosh now to the three stripes. So let's get to it. Over at Adidas Uptown Mall, we'll kick things off with the new Young 96 in 3. Three colorway. So the new Young 96, of course, I think is like the more affordable brother of the Young ones. Uh, they sell for 5,500 pesos, which is very much the same price as the Falcon. The Falcon, of course, is the version for the women. The Young 96 is the version for the men. It's a chunky dad sneaker that comes in a lot of funky colorways. The first colorway is a very clean white and off-white sneaker with an accent of bright orange. The bright orange can be found along the sides of the sneaker and the front edge of the pair. Now, another colorway that you guys might want to check out is almost the same version except they swapped out the orange for vault colorway or a very loud light green color, neon green color. If you ask me between the two, I am leaning heavily towards the vault light green colorway because that's a pair or that's a color that has been attractive for me for the last few months. There is also a dark version. It's dominantly black, gray, and brown with hints of vault. That one is definitely the sleekest and easiest to wear among the bunch. And it is also very similar to the new upcoming colorway of the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner Mauve. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's coming really soon as well. So if you can't afford that one, might as well go for this one because it is far more affordable. Again, guys, at just 5,500 pesos. And we're not stopping there. There's also a new NMD Racer for all of you fans of the Racer Silhouette. It is my favorite NMD to date because it is so comfortable. It has better traction. It has better arc support for people with flat and wide feet. This one is in a bright yellow colorway with accents of black. So if you are a fan of the color yellow, this is the NMD racer for you. Check it out. Looks funky as heck. Next up, we have one of my favorite sneakers for 2018. This is the Adidas EQT91. 18. This sneaker, of course, delivers one of the best boost performance that you can ever get. It's so comfortable. It's The cushioning is amazing and excellent. And the additional support that they put at both sides of the sneaker gives your feet better guidance and stability. Something that you usually didn't get with the EQT line. Now for the new colorways, you have a dominantly black version, which is probably the safest and easiest EQT ever to wear. Uh, unfortunately, the boost is still white, so it is a combination of black and white. But you still get that very thick, T-H-I-C-C boost <laughs> midsole that you get with this pair. The next colorway reminds me a lot of the EQT Overkill, which I did a recent video on on trading for sneakers. I'll put a link above and down below just so guys you can watch it if you guys haven't watched it yet. This one is dominantly white with gray with an accent of three stripes along the side of the sneaker. Really cool looking one. Looks amazing. Looks fantastic. Again, sells for a little over... I think it was 9,000. I can't remember the exact price, but it is pricey. But it is one of the best and most comfortable sneakers, lifestyle and walking sneakers that you guys can ever get today. Moving on, and this is probably a surprise drop that I didn't see coming. This is the black version of the ZX Remastered 500. This is the same silhouette that was used for the Goku sneaker collaboration with Adidas Originals. They swapped, actually prior to this, a white, triple white version came out. Very clean, very minimalist, very elegant. Now, if white isn't your color, 
this is probably the next best thing that you guys can pick up. It's all black for the upper, minimalist branding as always. You just have the Adidas logo subtly placed in the tongue tab, but everything else is, you know, so clean. The only thing that's different with all black sneakers is that the boost is still white. So it's not like triple black, triple black. It's core black uh, model that you guys can wear. Very easy, very comfortable. And like what I mentioned in my review, it is far more comfortable than your traditional NMD. So those were the sneakers that I saw, new sneakers that were available over at Adidas Uptown Mall. Now I was supposed, supposed to cop the Young 96 to add to my collection, but unfortunately they had it just up until size 11. So as you guys know, I'm a size 12. So team size 12 tier. But uh, yeah, that's the sad part. But hey, we have to move on. So passed on that one. Don't expect a review anytime soon of the Young 96. Now our shopping trip doesn't end there. I actually made my way over to SM Aura to visit Commonwealth. Again, one of my favorite sneaker stores uh, in the Philippines. Now, uh, by the way, they just announced uh, that they will be dropping the 4D Oh man, the 4D sneaker with Ash uh, I think Daniel Ashram mechanics will be released very soon. So please do watch out for it. I am super excited for it. Rumors are going around that it will sell for SRP over 20,000 pesos. So I hope that those who will join are just the ones who really, really want it. So <laughs> because it is pricey. I don't think you can actually sell it a lot here in the Philippines because Daniel Ashram is not as well known. So you 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 can only bank on the 4D tech, which will eventually be more mass produced. So it should be able to go down over time. <coughs> Speaking of Commonwealth, we'll take a break from Adidas and we go check out the new X90s that were released. The new colorways of the X90s, I think they're calling it like the X90 Deconstructed that was released over at uh, Commonwealth in SM Aura. So this is the New Balance X90 in four, I think, or five new colorways. There's a white one, which looks very clean, very simple, very fresh. You had like, uh, I think there's like a baby blue model. There's a more safer black model. And there's the one that I actually cop, which I'll do an unboxing on very soon, is their, their mustard yellow color New Balance X90. That one is just straight up fire, a head turner and a neck breaker. Couldn't resist picking it up. Sold for less than 7,000 pesos if I'm not mistaken. So watch out for my review of that one in the coming days ahead. So yeah guys, that's actually it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Those are the new sneakers that you guys can get from both Adidas and New Balance that are out this week. Fairly recent, fairly new. I want to get this video out. So again, today we'll have two more vlogs in one day. Crazy, right? In the past few days, I've been churning out two vlogs per day. Two every 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, it's been a crazy time vlogging, but I am enjoying every minute of it. So please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on IG, hit the link down below so you guys can join our giveaway for the four champion caps and the off-white off-white Rastaclad bracelet. That's it for now. Peace. God bless.